Heidi is a story about a little Swiss orphan girl named Heidi. She is five years old. Heidi lost her parents when she was just three years old. Thereafter, she was brought up by her aunt Dita. But when Aunt Dita got a job in Frankfurt, she decided to dump this little girl under her old grandfather's care, who lived up on the mountain slopes. Oh, Dita, I don't want to live here. Please don't leave me and go. It is for your betterment, my child. Heidi was very sad. But she cheerfully accepted her grumpy grandpa and started living in the mountains. She fell in love with the nature, the rosy sunset, exotic flora and fauna. She started petting a goat and played with her every day. Oh, my baby! Come here. At night, she slept on the hay, watching the twinkling stars at night. She started enjoying every bit of the nature around her. A few days later, she made a friend, Peter, a seven-year-old boy who lived in a nearby cottage with his mother and blind granny. Come on, Heidi, let's go to the pasture. Peter. Just give me a minute. Heidi enjoyed each day by going to pasture with Peter and goats. After she came back, she spent time with his granny, or doing the household chores along with her grandfather. Soon, her old grandpa became very fond and possessive of Heidi. He refused to send her to the school because he had quarreled with those who lived down below in the village of Dorfli, where he was known as Uncle Alp. Heidi, I will never let you go away from me. Oh, I love you, Grandpa. Everything was going fine in their life till one day Dita appeared from nowhere. Dita took Heidi to Frankfurt. To be a companion to a ten-year-old crippled girl, Clara, who could move only in her wheelchair. On reaching Clara's home, Heidi was amazed to see that everyone had to be disciplined and obey the orders of Mrs. Rottenmeier, the housekeeper. She saw that Clara had a huge collection of toys. Her wardrobe was filled with beautiful dresses. She soon became comfortable there, and started enjoying Clara's company. Slowly, everyone started loving the sweet girl. Clara, her father, and her grandmama all became very fond of the little Swiss girl. However, Miss Rottenmeier, the Seisman housekeeper, does not like Heidi because she has scruffy clothes, cannot read. And has not learned how to behave in a grand house. Miss Rottmeier thinks Heidi is very naughty. You should learn a little discipline, Heidi. I'm sorry, Miss Rottmeier. As time goes by, Heidi becomes more and more homesick. Clara's grandmama saw that Heidi is unhappy. She talked about Heidi to Dita. But Aunt Dita was very selfish. Grandma gave all her efforts to convince Aunt Dita, but she failed. Grandmama, I don't feel good here. Send me home, please. I miss Grandpa and Peter. Heidi, my dear child, you should pray to God for help. Though Heidi had all the comforts of life. She felt it was like being in a cage. She was still unhappy and started feeling lonely. She no longer had interest in anything. 
Deep in her heart, she wished to return to her grandfather, Peter, and to the snowfields, but did not know how to go back. It affected her health so much that she started sleepwalking at night. One day, Heidi opened the front door, thinking of going back to her house. Peter and Grandpa, I'm back! Grandmama, seeing this, got very sad. Clara's doctor, Dr. Klassen, insisted that Heidi should be at home with her grandpa. Heidi, I have good news for you. What is it, Grandmama? We are sending you back home to your grandpa and Peter. Oh, I love you, Grandmama. You're the best. I shall say goodbye to everyone now. Clara, it's time for me to leave. See you at my place soon. Please come to the mountains. I will show you many places. Don't go, Heidi. I will miss you. <laughs> I will miss you all too. Especially Grandmama and Clara. She invited Clara to her family to the mountains. As she reached her house, she started running for joy. Grandpa, I'm back. I missed you so much. I missed you too, my naughty child. Oh, my dear Heidi, I'll never let you go anywhere now, my baby. Back in the mountains, Grandfather was once again happy to be with Heidi and they enjoyed being together. She met Peter that day. Peter, look, I'm back. Heidi, we all missed you a lot. You know I made a new friend, Clara. I lived in her house, played with her toys. Heidi narrated stories to Peter and his grandmother and loved the pasture even more. A few months later, Clara decided to surprise Heidi. She decided to stay with Heidi for a month. Clara, in her wheelchair, was lifted up to the mountains and was equally overjoyed to be with her best friend. Look, Heidi, who has come to pay you a visit? Who is it, Grandpa? Heidi, it's me, Clara! After hearing her name, she wakes up in one go. I'm so happy to see you after so long. Clara was so happy when she saw Heidi. Every day in the morning, she would wake up early to play with Clara. She showed her the green meadows, the rosy sunsets, lovely birds chirping. Clara enjoyed every bit of it. So. How do you like the mountains now? I'm enjoying every bit of it, Heidi. Thank you for all this. On the other hand, Peter was jealous of Clara. He thought that Clara stole his best friend. One day, when Peter saw Clara sitting with Heidi on the grass and laughing, Clara, you wait now. I'm going to hide your wheelchair so that you go back and leave Heidi alone. In anger, Peter slowly took her wheelchair and pushed it down the mountain. And bam, it broke. Oh God, what did I just do? <laughs> As Clara and Heidi finished playing, they realized the wheelchair wasn't there. Clara <laughs> felt so helpless. Heidi, where's my wheelchair? I'm getting worried. Heidi started searching for it and found it nowhere. I can't find it anywhere, Clara. I'll call Grandpa. Heidi rushed to call for help. On the way, she saw Peter. Peter, Clara needs help. Come here. Let's help her to walk back home. Come on, Clara, this way. Don't worry, you'll be fine. 
It was indeed a miracle. As Clara started to walk a few paces with Peter and Heidi's help, and could admire the beauty of nature around her. Peter was shocked to see that as Clara reached her house. Clara's family was so happy to see Clara back on her feet. Mom, Dad, I can walk on my feet again. I'm so happy. We are so happy for you, Clara, my child. Peter was so guilty that he started crying. <laughs> what happened, Peter? Why are you crying? I had thrown Clara's wheelchair down the mountain because I thought Clara was taking Heidi's attention away from me. Ha <laughs> ha! Peter, we forgive you, son. However, Clara's grandmama understands why he has done this. She knows that he feels guilty. So instead of punishing him, she decides to reward him. Here, little boy. Take this and don't say no. The Seisman family gave gifts to Heidi and to Peter's blind grandmother in order to make her life more comfortable. They promise Heidi's grandfather that they will make sure Heidi is taken care of after his death. The story ends with Heidi and Granny talking together and thanking God for all the good things He has brought into their lives.